Hi. How are you? You well? Yeah, I need to chat with you. Oh, what for? What are you up to? What's it look like I'm doing? Yeah, why are you taking the photos? Um, videoing. 30 oh. frames per second. Oh, okay. <laughs> How come? Because I wish to. Okay. Yep. I've just got to grab your details because you're taking pictures of police station and stuff. Uh, do you suspect me of committing an offence? Um, I've just been asked to go on my seat here. Do you suspect me of committing an offence? Well, yeah, I don't know what, what you're doing. Yeah, I don't know I'm not obliged to give you my details unless you suspect me of committing an offence. Well, I don't know what you're doing. What does it look like I'm doing? Yeah, well, why are you taking the photos? Well, I don't know what you're doing, so that's why I'm okay, asking so you. Okay, so you don't suspect me of committing anything? Well, I'm going to detain you now. Oh, you're detaining okay. me? For what crime? I just want to talk to you and ask you for your details. Okay. So you want um, to detain me for what? I just want to grab your details. I just want to grab your details. Well, I'm not giving you, I'm not obliged to give you my details unless you suspect me of committing an offence. So you're not aware of my rights? Sorry. I'm New Zealand, yeah, I know. I saw you running. I'm just going to ring my, ring my um, senior, okay? Who's your senior? Who are you? JK72, what's your name? What's your name? I don't have to give you my name, you've got my bitch. Okay. I do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. G'day everyone, well, Mark here, it's um, shit, 1st of, uh, of September, the start of spring, must be why I've been running around cleaning everything today, must be spring cleaning time. Well, um, you may have seen the latest uh, pip test that I did against the um, Manukau and all the buildings out there and uh, the courthouse and our friends, the police, and um, you know, no, no offence to any of the actual officers that actually showed up, as uh, Hannah put it, they're just following orders. My issue being is who gave those orders, because you just unlawfully detained me for 20 minutes, when you know you shouldn't have given those orders, go down, get his details, because he's filming the police station. There's no lawful reason for New Zealand police to obtain my details, because no offence has been committed. And it's just a simple go down, do as you say. And unfortunately, I have no, I mean, I have no ill will towards any of them that showed up because Hannah, as she said, was just doing her job. And um, put it this way, if she hadn't have just done her job, she would have gotten shit. Um, however, I would have expected someone that's been given an order to go and obtain details to actually know why because she, they're all responsible for their own actions and if he'd given her an unlawful order then she should have been questioning it irrespective of him being the supervisor she's supposed to uphold her oath so um, yeah my rights were trottled all over in the nicest possible way because they were extremely polite and, and friendly and um, yeah I, I'll, I'll agree with uh, Richard on my comments there yes um, Sam was extremely chatty and really nice. You know, I, I probably think she's going to get a slap on the hand for saying a few things that she said. Probably will Scott too for saying, oh, you know, Dave's a bit of a panic merchant. So, um, yeah, you've got to remember, guys, you're all on camera and you're representing the New Zealand police. Your personal opinions and views aren't allowed to be expressed. But I appreciate your candour regardless. You made great footage. Um, so what I've done is, and you might think of me as being a prick for this, but shit don't change unless you make a complaint, alright? Otherwise they're just going to carry on thinking everything's fucking dandy. And the amount of pip tests I've done, there's been quite a few occasions now where they've come out just to ask me my details because they have concerns. Other than Brian Leslie, this is the first time I've actually been detained for having a chat. That stops it from being a consensual conversation, which is why I wasn't giving any personal details. I don't mind talking shit while I wait, telling some stories and boasting about how I kicked you guys' asses in court, but, um, you know, you won't be getting any of my personal information, such as if you ask where I live or where have I parked on the ground and on earth are going to be the, qu the answers to those questions. So, without further ado, 
yesterday I filed an IPCA complaint basically against the fact that I was unlawfully detained one and irrespective of who did it New Zealand police unlawfully detained me they don't get to pick and choose being individuals and I didn't detain you and I didn't do this you're all wearing the same monkey costume you're all representing the New Zealand police New Zealand's largest legal gang so if you're going to represent them at least own up to what another one of your colleagues has just done even though it was unlawful because some panic merchant up in his lofty heights chooses to tell others to do it. I mean, perhaps, that, perhaps, just perhaps, Dave might have known who I was. Dave might have just been playing a cruel trick to Hannah, knowing it full well that she was going to get fuck all from me. Either way, it's a waste of police time and resources. There was no need for them to come out and try and obtain my details. They want to come out and have a chat, that's fine. I'm not obliged to answer any questions, but I will happily ask heaps of them. So if they want to come out and have a chat, that's cool. But um, when you want to start throwing words around like you're being detained um, without lawful reason, that's where things change. All right, so this is my complaint. I'll do it from page two. Page one was obviously asking my details. Um, and I'll put it up on the screen there. Um, so it starts off with... Um, or please tell us about the police actions you wish to complain about. Answer any questions that are relevant to your complaint. Oh, if I feel like it. When did it happen? Thursday. What date? It was the 28th, oh sorry, 29th of the 8th, 2012. Um, the time was just on 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, about 5 to 2. In fact, that still shot I caught of that uh, CCT camera looking straight at me, um, I think the time's on there about 5 to 2. So, that's when it happened. I refer you to my footage. When, uh, where did it happen? Okay, well that was 42 Manukau Station Road, Manukau, directly outside County's Manukau Police Station on a public footpath. Who was involved? Police officer. Please provide the names of any police staff you wish to complain about. If you do not know the names, please provide any other identifying details such as rank, badge number and or description of the officer. I didn't want to start getting mean, so I left the descriptions out of it for the most part. Um, <clears throat> and I answered, JK72, Hannah, DC78, Sam, Tony, QID, not worn and failed to identify in official capacity, and Senior Sergeant, or Acting Senior Sergeant, Scott Dixon, 0 Delta Alpha MDR 19. Supervisor Dave, a panic merchant, according to Scott Dixon. Note, Dave stayed hidden inside the station and instructed Hannah, JK72, to obtain my details, which New Zealand police are not entitled to be supplied, given no offence had been, was currently, or was intended to be committed by myself, and no facts can be produced to suggest otherwise. And then it says, If possible, please provide the names and contact details of any other people who may be able to help us resolve your complaint. This may include witnesses, the officers, and other people involved in the incident. Okay, so I labelled Scott Dixon at police.govt.nz, Tony, Dave, Sam, DC78, Hannah, JK72, and your CCT footage, which under the Official Information Act 1982, please supply copies of all camera footage which County's Manukau Police Station has of myself on their cameras from that day and time. So I'm asking for the footage. Um... Further references, I've put my camera on my channels, um, and I've supplied them the YouTube link, and then I've put link to be currently a uh, link to footage currently being processed for publication because I was still uploading it at that stage. Estimated time of arrival: 48 hours. Luckily, I got it up in 24. What happened? And it says, uh, please tell us about the police actions you want to complain about. Okay. 
While exercising my freedoms and rights affirmed under the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990, New Zealand Borer 1990, Section 14, to seek, receive and impart information and opinion of any kind in any form, namely video recording on a public footpath, I was unlawfully detained for lawful activities in a public place, defined in the Summary Offences Act 1981, Section 2. My affirmed right and freedom of movement, New Zealand Bora 1990 section 18, was infringed upon by JK72 under direction of, from her supervisor, Dave, the panic merchant according to Scott, and I was unlawfully detained without reasonable grounds for approximately 19 and a half minutes. My affirmed right to not be arbitrarily detained was infringed upon by JK72 and Dave under section 22 of New Zealand Bora which is basically my freedom of movement and uh, not to right not to be arbitrarily detained freedom of movement section 18 not to be arbitrarily detained which is exactly what happened is section 22 my right affirmed under section 23 1a of Bora 1990 as I was detained be it unlawfully to be informed at the time of the detention the reasonable grounds for the detention was also infringed as Hannah JK72 could not articulate the reason for the detention she was asked numerous times and failed note because I was recording the police station from a public place is not reasonable grounds and does not justify breaching my affirmed rights while exercising them nor is because my supervisor told me to my affirmed rights under section 23 1b was also infringed upon as I was detained I was not informed of my right to consult or instruct a lawyer without delay nor were any other rights informed to me at the time of my unlawful action section 23 1b basically states they should have read me my rights I'm being detained I have the right to remain silent but no 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 that's just a detained to try and squeeze you into giving our details doesn't work with me I can see how it would normally work with the average citizen or sheeple that has no clue of their rights but with someone like me you've got a shit show in hell as I told Hannah um, Tony with the impressive red beard and it was impressive um, failed to identify himself when asked and as he was aware of who I was through being a subscriber of my YouTube channel and let's see if you can pick my name out of it CKA Mark of the house of Keen and he was aware that I exercised my rights and conduct photography in public places tests as was and was from out west he knew who I was and what I do pip tests mainly which on this occurrence New Zealand police failed at all times Hannah Sam Tony and Scott were pleasant and polite while infringing upon my rights although Scott when stating I didn't detain you was correct technically given that all constables were representing New Zealand police and constable is the only rank and a policeman can have or police woman can have officers can have lots of ranks but a policeman is a police constable they take the constables oath not the sergeant's oath not the superintendent's oath not the supervisor's oath not the senior sergeant's oath not the detective sergeant's oath no it's called the constable's oath all right um scott being a constable and part of the same organization had detained me irrespective of the fact that it was another constable jk72 that stated i was detained the individual constable does not get to disassociate themselves from others in the same costume when wrongdoing is occurring i would suggest they all refresh their knowledge of section 22 of the policing act 2008 their oath as you may be well aware um, the entire interaction was captured on video and will be published on multiple public forums the links will be supplied for your reference feel free to like or not subscribe or not it is completely up to you happy to chat if you require further information and or education and then it says supporting information please provide information relevant to your complaint please note that we will assess your complaint and consider future actions on the basis of this okay so I supply them the summary offenses act section 2 
direct link to that, their own website, legislation.gov2.nz, so it's the source. I supplied them a link to New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 section 14, also a link to section 18, also a link to section 22, also a link to section 23, including subsections 1A and 1B. Um, copy of the Policing Act 2008 section 22, and my channel where police are regularly featured, including that incident which was published this morning. Um, so I supply them a link to my channel where I'm sure they can find it if they figure it out. Um, I also supplied five attachments um, with Hannah, Tony, Sam, Scott and of course the group photo which was a pretty impressive photo to actually get from that shaky footage that I got from across the road so way to go P900 excellent camera. Um, <clears throat> complaint resolution. Please tell us how you would like to see the complaint resolved. Well, it's not what I would like or want to happen. My wish, because as a servant you're supposed to make wishes happen. I wish for New Zealand Police to please make it common knowledge to all New Zealand Police staff that photography and videography in or on public places is a lawful and legal activity, or put simply, photography is not a crime, and that it is not reasonable grounds to detain a law-abiding person on a public footpath, ever. Want to chat? Fine. Have a consensual conversation? Have at it. However, unlawfully detain an individual? Not okay. I also require a written apology from Dave, for having myself unlawfully detained for 20 minutes without reasonable grounds and for Dave to apologise to Hannah, Sam, Tony and Scott for wasting their valuable time which I as a taxpayer subsidise. If Scott, if, sorry, start again, if what Scott said is true and Dave is a panic merchant Perhaps Dave may require some counselling for his concerns and not be placed in a position where his unreasonable thoughts may, ca may cause others to act unlawfully. I believe some re-education is in order, generally around public photography, that, and that it is not grounds for detention unless there is reasonable grounds under Section 30 of the Summary Offences Act 1981 or similar. That's Brian's old favourite, peeping and peering. Peeping and peering refers only to private dwelling houses at night time. Night time is defined as one hour after dusk and one hour before dawn. That is the period you cannot record a private dwelling house or someone's residential home. You can record a police station any old time. Any corporation, any business, any publicly owned place. As much as you like any time of the day or night. Summary Offences Act 1981 section 30 only only pertains to private dwelling houses. Just in case there's any confusion. Monetary compensation is always good. The wife made me put that one in. I would ask uh, I would again ask under the Official Information Act 1982, please supply copies of all camera footage which County's Manapakao Police Station has of myself on their cameras from that day and time. I was there from approximately 1.40 and had been recording everything else for 20 minutes prior to the unlawful detention. At the very least, a formal written apology. And then of course the next page shows you that I submitted the above and then there's the confirmation of the online complaint form I uh, thank you your complaint has been received so there you go that's the uh, that's them saying that they've got it so they can't say we don't know what you're talking about so whether or not they actually put a memo out there to all police stations saying if you see someone filming the police station from a public sidewalk by all means have a friendly chat but don't fucking detain them don't obstruct their rights don't commit torts and don't infringe on people's affirmed rights that the New Zealand government and 
Her Majesty the Queen, old Lizzie, fucking affirmed. So, that's it for me. I will keep you guys all updated, be sure of that, um, as to what happens with the IPCA complaint. And um, you can be absolutely certain that I will be going back. I will be going back with either a tripod, monopod, and at least five or six cameras with my entire kit on. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be the one having to run anywhere, unlike Hannah, but um, I will be going back to make damn sure that you guys behave yourselves. And when I say you guys, I mean New Zealand police. Yes, that refers to any man or woman that's wearing that ga those game colours and that fucking monkey suit that you guys call a uniform. It's not that I have any disrespect for police in general. It's just, unfortunately, a few bad ones spoil the barrel. And if the good ones don't kick the bad ones out of the barrel, everything gets rotten. And you end up with shit like happened the other day with Dave telling a subordinate basically to go and get my details for recording the station, which they had no right to do. So, hopefully IPO, uh, IPCA gets their shit together. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath either way. We'll just see what happens. I'll leave my uh, questions resolved. Feel free to comment in the comments about whether or not you think the police were good or bad. Again, um, it's not like I was thrown against a fence and had cuffs slammed on me and was talked with shit. I treat people the same way I wish to be treated. Friendly, courteous and with a bit of respect, but at the same time not getting stood all over, not getting kicked in the teeth, and not having my rights imposed upon. Okay, I appreciate some of the comments out there by uh, Mr. J and whatnot, calling me the guardian angel, and yet again, um, Mark defends the, you know, the Rebel Alliance, and the Death Star comment, that was a fucking classic mate, had me laughing, so um, I appreciate those. Uh, I'm good that people do see the funny side of this thing. You know, there is a serious side to it, which is why I filed the IPCA complaint. But at the end of the day, they still behaved exceptionally well. And um, there has been other occurrences where they haven't been so much. But uh, all in all, and, and I know there's some of my friends out there that thoroughly, utterly despise police. And honestly, if they've been arrested as many times as some of my friends have, oh, we'll say over a hundred, and never prosecuted and convicted of anything over a 10 year period and had their fucking rights and shit kicked um, I totally understand why they hate the poo lice um, myself again I haven't gone through that same experience not knocking anybody's right to uh, feel that way <laughs> but at the end of the day um, I've never been locked up yet uh, well not in a long time, we'll say. Anyway, um, enough of my rambling on, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate all the uh, the likes and comments. Keep them coming. Um, I'm not going to be slowing down. In fact, I might just go out there and start doing things a little bit more frequently. All right, guys. Have a good day. Uh, and no, my intent is never to cause any police officer to fear for their safety or, you know, the safety of their family members, or the safety of anything. That is not my intent. I don't dox out people's private information, only publicly available information, and information that is allowed to be given to the public, such as email addresses. Okay, it's a good little tip that for anyone. If you want to know how to email a policeman or a policewoman, you simply just ask them for their full name. It's first name dot last name at police.govt.nz or it's their six digit um, identification number you notice that the cops um, on Thursday all had four digit QIDs and um, I've shown in the past when I've rung the police that they're not supposed to have just four digit QIDs they're supposed to have six to be correctly identified um, much like Scott had he had six the rest all had four um, or like our old mate Neil, Winterbottom, NFW030. I'm guessing that stands for Neil the fuckwit Winterbottom, but it could be Francis. Who knows? Anyway, enough of my bullshit. Have a good day, guys. Much love to you all.
keep cool to after school. See you later.